This recording is the second in a series on integrals of trigonometric functions where the integrand is a power of sine x multiplied by a power of cosine x where as in the first recording in this series in this case we'll consider the scenario where at least one of sine x or cos x is raised to an odd power. In this particular example we can see that it's sine x that's raised to an odd power as that is raised to the power of 5 here. So let's have a look at the process. And the first step is to break off a single factor of the trig function that is to an odd power. In this case that means that we'll be rewriting the sine to the power of 5x part as sine to the power of 4x times sine x and we're working out that integral with respect to x. The second step is to use the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to replace the remaining part of that function that we've broken up. So in this case to replace sine to the power of 4x in terms of the other trigonometric function which in this case means we want to write it in terms of cos x. The first thing we'll need to do in order to achieve that is to rearrange our identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to make the sine squared x part of that the subject. So that gives us sine squared x equals 1 minus cos squared x. But here we have sine to the power of 4x. How do we deal with that? Well, because it's also an even power of sine x, in particular it's, it's sine to the power of 4x, we can write that as sine squared x squared, which means that it will become 1 minus cos squared x squared when we replace this part in terms of cos x. Then this expression here can now be substituted in to replace the sine to the power of 4x in our original integral. Hence our original integral, which I've rewritten here again, will become the integral of cos squared x times 1 minus cos squared x all squared, replacing that sine to the power of 4x times sine x dx. The next step is to then use integration by substitution to help in working out the integral. How can we do this? Well this uses the fact that we have here a reasonably complicated expression in terms of powers of cos x and that's then multiplied by sine x dx. So in that case we'll let u be equal to cos x. What is the derivative of that? Well du dx becomes negative sine x meaning that therefore du is negative sine x dx. That will allow us to do a substitution where all these powers of cos x will be replaced with the powers of u. Sine x dx will be written in terms of u but we just need to be a little careful in this case because if du is negative sine x dx if we divide both sides by negative 1 we can see that the sine x dx which is what we actually have in our integral is actually negative du. Therefore we can rewrite our expression cos squared x as u squared 1 minus cos squared x that's 1 minus u squared and that is squared and the sine x dx is replaced with negative du. So you can see that the method is similar to the one in our first maths cast on this type of trigonometric function integral but this one we just need to take a little bit more care when we're doing our substitution and you can also see that because we had sine to the power of 4x here it means we have a more complicated looking expression to integrate at this stage as it includes 1 minus u squared squared. So how can we work out this integral from here? 
And it's actually relatively straightforward. That negative du, that's like minus 1 du. So let's put the negative inside our integral sign at the beginning. So we get negative u squared. We can also expand this bracket here. 1 minus u squared, all squared, is just going to become 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the power of 4. So this is starting to look a bit simpler. Now we can simply multiply the brackets through by negative u squared, which means that we're now working out the integral of this expression here with respect to u. And now it's a straightforward matter of working that out as negative u cubed divided by 3 plus 2u to the power of 5 divided by 5 minus u to the power of 7 divided by 7 plus c. So what did we say u actually was in this case? Well, in this case u was cos x. So we would now simply replace u in all of the above expression with the corresponding powers of cos x. I've just gone to the next line here. So that would be our integral that we were wanting to work out in this case.